Yeah. This woman harassing random people on the beach saying all liberals are the same while driving a scooter flying a Trump flag has to be one of the most ironic images of the year. Disgusting. <laughs> That's a sign for hate. Go f yourself. Go f yourself. F up. What's up? <laughs> what I do with my stimulus check? I pay my bills. The Trump, he's a just like you. <laughs> Bye! Go yourself! I'm really glad that lady clapped back against those Trump supporters who were just trying to be big old bullies because it shows you you don't always have to be the bigger person. Sometimes you need to fight fire with fire and let people know I hear and see your BS and I'm gonna call you out, I'm gonna confront you and I'm gonna do it so or I'm gonna do so in an assertive way. And maybe it makes Trump supporters think twice about broadcasting their appalling and disgusting views. The Department of Justice controlled by Donald Trump even determined that Hillary Clinton didn't break the law. I like the guy with the Trump hat better. Speak, speak to me, bro. He's silent. We can't say anything. He's Comey said we couldn't find someone who would prosecute. No, Comey said she didn't break the law. <laughs> under under the Espionage Act, Section F of 793, Listen. she did not violate it. He said that while he was testifying to Congress. You never know. So I do think sometimes it is worthwhile to let people know, yeah, all that hate you spread, that's not gonna go unchecked. But Trump supporters really represent a bigger issue in our society, well, in our country, I should say. And that is, aside from them being obsessed with Trump, of course, a failure of the education system. And Republicans have led the destruction of the said system for years to help keep producing guys like you see in this next clip. What did he do to make your life better when he was president specifically? What didn't he do? You know what I mean? He made America great again, and he's going to do it again and again and again. Well, things were peaceful. And then Joe Biden comes along, gas prices go up, all this crazy <laughs> pops up and stuff. It, it's just nuts, man. It's crazy. <laughs> what did he do to make my life better? He gave me hope. In what way? He gave me hope that um, you can make it in America by just being great. He's got a billion dollars in the bank. He's got bail money. <laughs> he's good to go. He's actually out on bail on one of those things right now because he had to post bail. But if he's convicted, bail doesn't get you out of the clink, does it? Right, right. It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't get out of the clinker. But he's got, you know, America's support. You know, I think I think if we all step up, we'll basically be like his lawyers. And uh, he's got a good team behind him, I'd say. As much fun as it may be to laugh at and mock these people's opinions, you really do learn a whole lot more by just letting them do the talking and see how they truly operate in the real world. Which brings me to this point. People like that guy are bona fide victims to the marketing and messaging around Trump instead of actually evaluating Trump's policies and performance in an objective manner. Because you saw he had no real answers, just all the slogans, make America great again, blah, 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 right? Nothing of substance. Hyperpartisanship in America is a huge problem that is holding our country back. One thought I have about why we have such a hyperpartisan divide in our country is due in part to the fact that the public is conditioned to be obsessed with consuming products, media, entertainment, and the super effective of marketing and political propaganda that is put out there by Democrats and Republicans. It gives you the illusion that there's only two frames of mind. That's not true. There's so many nuances to how people operate and live their life that it shouldn't just be Democratic side and a Republican side. And the other downside to that with a two-party system is it really limits cracking down on corporate corruption and also passing legislation that will help everyday Americans. You, you talk about bailing out the rich, you talk about bailing out the uh, elite and helping them, oh, those, those bills will be passed swiftly. But if it has to do with hardworking Americans that are the backbones of society, our country, it takes a whole lot more. And we know going back to corporate America, how they are in bed with a lot of people in government. So that, that doesn't help. And can we talk about how you have former Republicans and current people in office who are talking about a civil war if Donald Trump is convicted of the crimes that he's been indicted on? I don't, I don't want to get my rifle out. Are you serious? Prom indirectly promoting violence because a man who has committed several crimes could end up going to jail like normal people who do crimes? What, what are we doing here? Because it just blows my mind that people who have responsibility and power and influence are promoting these things in our country. Absolutely ridiculous.